Hi, I'm Nick Chen, one of the teaching assistants for Rob Rutenberg's VLS iCAD Logic to Layout course. This is the second tutorial in our series of video tutorials introducing you to several tools that you can use in this class. Today we will be talking about Miniset. Miniset, according to its website, is a minimalistic open source SAT solver developed to help researchers and developers alike to get started on SAT. Miniset is a rather successful SAT solver. It has already won several competitions. It's also very fast, as you will experience when you try out the tool for yourself. As usual, this video tutorial has an accompanying document that will be made available on the class website. We expect you to read the document, and this video just shows how to actually use the tool through the web interface. The example we are using is from this realistic usage example section shown on the right hand side of the screen. The purpose of the example is actually to determine whether the network you see here on the left is equivalent to the network you see here on the right. On the following page of the tutorial, we have already expressed the network as a set equation. And here's how you actually express it in the Dimax format input file. I've actually copied and pasted the following text into my text editor. Here's the text that I've just copied and pasted from the document. I'm not going to go through the file format here because it's actually described in great detail in the document itself. What I do want to point out is something that may be a bit unexpected. You must terminate each of your lines with the symbol character zero. This is something that's a bit more unusual, so I do want to take the time to point it out. I'm going to save the file and then we can upload it to the class website. Here's our Coursera website. If you scroll down and navigate to the Programming Assignments tab, click on it. You see that this is week one, so we have the Computational Boolean Algebra Program Assignment out. I'm just going to minimize that. And if you scroll down here, you see the tool section. KBDD was introduced in the previous tutorial. What we're interested in is actually Miniset. So scroll down all the way to you see Miniset. Click on the Submit button, choose the text that you just saved as part of output submission, Some Desktop, and hit Submit. You see that it says their submission has been accepted and will be graded shortly. Go back to the previous page in Programming Assignments. Scroll to Tools and view the feedback. Here's the feedback for my previous run. There are three main sections. The first is the results. In this case, if you have something that can be satisfied, you print out set and give you the satisfying uh, equations. Here in the mini set standard output section, you get to see some statistics. This tells you something like the number of variables, the number of clauses that you have, and any time that it takes. There are more details in the document accompanying this video tutorial on what each actually means. If you still have any questions about this, feel free to actually post something on our discussion forums, and one of the staff members will get back to you. So that's the output from Miniset for something that can actually be satisfied. I'm going to give you an example for something that cannot be satisfied. Here's my text editor again, and now I have an equation that cannot be satisfied. This is taken from this particular website, so if you're interested, you can go ahead and go to there and download some of the benchmarks for yourself. I'm now at the Coursera website again, and I'm going to upload the text file that I've just saved. I'm going to scroll down, look for programming assignments, click on it, Scroll all the way to the bottom for Tools. Click Submit. This time, I'm going to choose the unsatisfiable set equation. Hit Submit. It notifies me that my submission has been accepted. Go back to Programming Assignments. Scroll to the bottom. Open Tools. When the results are available, I can click on View. 
And here are the results. As you can see, this is an unsatisfiable equation. So in mini set results, you see the words unset. And if you look at the standard output, you're going to see the same problem statistics, except it's going to say unsatisfiable here at the bottom. Again, mini set is pretty robust and it should be able to handle any errors that you have in your input and tell you that it may not be able to parse things. In the event that you do encounter something which you cannot diagnose, please let us know what Miniset reports in its standard error and we can take a look for you. I'd also like to point out that Miniset, unlike many of the other tools that we'll be using for this course, is actually quite easily installable on your own machines. If you want, you can go to the Miniset website and just try to install a version on your own machine. That may make it easier for you to experiment. And there you have it, a very short introduction to using Miniset through the course website. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask on the discussion forums. Thank you.